No, look at me here. These little juices, not a lot. Cause you know why when the steam fish done, it have a bag of water. Yo, the water something they don't know me and it, you know. These are the natural juices. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In the neck of the woods, what up, what up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Doha Yard. <clears throat> Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All who are new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be preparing for you original Jamaican steamed fish and okra. Right on here, I've got a reasonable size snapper and I'll be seasoning my way. Do you? Well, I'll do me, okay? So, the very first thing I want to do is like to dress up this boy. You know I have a, an original steam fish video. And this will be my second in almost three years. Yeah? Give me a nice little look. Don't cut off all them sideburns and all of them. So you're just dressing them up. You see me? Don't leave him face bare. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Next side here. The dressing up. You're not going to leave him without. No, not no sideburns. No, not at all. This is okay. If these, these not, this not a problem. But you can't clip that. Nothing no wrong. Yeah. You want to have this fish not too dry you know one pat him dry as i pat the other ones that i am frying fish you don't want to pat this fish dry you want to have this fish with some moisture so it will hold the seasoning let me introduce you to what i'll be using as my seasonings this here is my little grounded herbs so you could go ahead and buy your you know you get your fish seasoning in the pack, pre-package, do you if you want to do that. I just made this out of stuff I have in my cupboard or at all. So you want a fish seasoning. You want some fresh scallion and thyme. You want to have one of this Jamaican scotch bonnet. You want to have this one, red one, that is going to give a little heat and a little spice. If you don't want too much or you don't want none at all, you will probably use a green one, but in steam fish, you are going to need a little spice. Okay, a little black pepper. I've got my salt. I've got some garlic, which is a must. And in this, I have some pimento being grounded too. Because I know somebody going to say, no pimento seeds. My pimento is grounded in here. And you're going to need some butter. Not a little teeny chops, a little, little chops of butter. But you're going to need some butter. So... Let us try to get this thing in. The very first thing you want to do is try to, you know, use one hand to hold your thing them. You want to work on the inside all clean and all of that. Don't go too much. Okay, you know, when I try to enjoy your fish, this thing is salty. You know, I remember the butter, depending on the butter, it's one of my lime seed. So you just want to go gently and to just do it. Whatever you do to one side, you do it to the other side. Remember to keep one hand clear of the fish until you're ready for rub up. Right in here, daddy, you on it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all of that. Don't do too much. Depending on the size of your fish. And this could, I made this to be enough for this one fish. So, this would be enough. You want to get some black pepper. Try to keep one hand to all your stuff and the other hand clear. So, but you don't want too much black pepper in a car. The, 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 um, well, that's something the name. The, 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 the little, what I blended as in the pimento seeds. And you know, so the pimento seed them, you know them stay already. So, so I'm going to be needing both hands. I'm going to wash my hands them. I'm going to soon go. I'm back and I'm going to be needing both hands. So I go with, I told you I wash my hands. I'm going to need some grated garlic. Mm. 
Another little rinse of the hand. And you don't think a chicken alone run this thing. Oops. So you want to do some now that you can drop it in here. What I'm doing here is to go on the inside. Now this is the time we are going to use our hands very gently. Remember that you're using your handling fish and it's not boneless. It's not fish filly. It has bones. So I want to get my little garlic. Wow. See how the boy I moved up. So try to do it on the down. Mm-hmm. And remember, all of these are two stuff that you put in there. Try to get them all rubbed in, but be careful, please. This is not an exercise for somebody who cannot handle themselves. You must know how to handle yourself. Right? So you want to come now and you want to gently massage from one side to the other. Remember, you have all the little stuff them pan it already, you know, and all of that. So you get everybody. But remember, you don't want this fish finishing with a dark color because we're steaming this fish, you know. And all of that. Let's go wash our hands again. This is all you need for your seasoning up and your fish. That's all you're going to need. If you want to leave it to marinate, you can. I'm not going to leave this one to marinate. You want to have a pot or whatever that is, can lock, you know, them type of locking. Yes, yeah, so it locks down everything in there. You're going to get this pot wet. You want to wet this pot. It's not going to leave any water in there. You know. Look at what I'm saying. So you wet this pot, bottom and sides, and you drain the water out. Okay? Now that you have drained the water out, you want to start moving along with some butter. So you want to get all of this little butter in the steam, moving around right there. Beautiful little butter movements going on right there. Right there, you want to put some of this green thyme. <clears throat> you want to also get some of this scallion in there. And you can go ahead and give your fish a slit or two if you so desire. You know, in a, in a real matter, you want to get some of this green scallion right on that inside here. You just cut them down, let them be long, especially the green part. You know, you want to drop them into the bottom all right a few pieces of this in there let us smash one peg of garlic in the bottom there if you want to click off you can go some people don't like to they won't just want to see the fish steam abracadabra but that's not how it goes so if you want to click off you can click off and we have piece that we left back here Let's smash it too. Try to remember when you peel your garlic, you have to rinse it. So look at me here. All of that is in there. Okay? Now it is time to put this boy in the pot. That boy is there. Yeah. Get our hands all rinsed again. Mm -hmm. A lot of hand movements right here. Now, it is time to do the same thing as we did in the bottom. We're going to do them to the top too. All right? So, we'll get all of them like a skeleton here. You can either beat them or you can cut them down into strips. It doesn't matter. Because we want enough of this thing here in it, you know. Now, you want to put a few slices depending on your how you can manage spice because hmm? this is going to give it the flavor that you know go really you know no older flavor it's going to be such a unique flavor so you can probably drop a few seeds nothing much depending as sometimes some of them what listen you know. but you know no it go who i'm doing this fish for i cannot take a lot of spice i'm gonna leave it there now you want to come right along and the buttering continues 
so you want to make sure you get this butter soft and nice yeah the butter is gonna help to flavor up this fish here hmm yeah man if you don't want a butter you know you know if you use the butter you know if you have some healthy butter now that that has happened what you want to do you want to close this thing down properly that has happened and all of that you want to get your flame up i'll start it flame and you want to have your flame something like this shoot them up on the flame dad okay you're not off in and nothing with it again you know you're gonna have your flame like that and you're gonna leave that for the next 25 to 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes we will return i'm gonna go wash my hands clear all of this and we'll be returning remember the the the, the, the dish is steam fish and okra so i'm gonna go wash my hands clear here i'm a soon come okay now i told you we'll be coming back with our okra but i did not remember to tell you that i have to bring you in with this boy steam in here we're gonna go into this spot for the very first time it's like about 15 minutes in <clears throat> Change your camera person. Camera girl, you're shooting them out. This is what you have here. So at this point, this is what you want to do. You see the niceness and the mellowness from the butter and that little steam that it is making. You don't need to turn this. So you want to take it up and all of that. You don't want to turn it over. As you know, you saw me I say, as if a salt fish here cook up and all of them something there. You want to let it go. You see the seasonings. You see them? So you get them on top. All right? So that's where like 15 minutes in. And this is what, this is the natural juices from all that we did. So you want to take it up. You don't have to turn it, but if you want to turn it, you can turn it. But you just want to leave it as is. You don't want to touch this thing until you am, yeah, yeah, take him up out of the pot, you know. Or if you go eat him in the pot. So look at me here. This is what is happening at 15 minutes in. And you can see, say, you know, the, 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 the flesh of the fish is starting to, you know what I'm saying? It is starting to break down with this steaming method and all of that. So, I'm going to cover this spot. And look here. Very more, very important. We're going to lower the flame a little bit more. <coughs> that flame, shoot them up, camera girl, and that flame. That flame is going to take it to the finishing. So you have to trouble it again. You know, everything curry. You know. If you are not sure about your salt perfection, you could sprinkle a little more salt taste and sprinkle a little more salt and all of that. I took you back in. Come on, why you have to see what a clock a strike in another part there. So now I'm going to be going off camera. And when I return, I'm going to be having my okras. Or I'll show you how I prep my okras. You could at this point prep your okras put them in and then 15 minutes after you'll be ready to spoon out this boy and then come along them which is the okra but i want to do my okra separately so if you want to do your okra with your fish <clears throat> this is the perfect time to have your okras all over it but i want to do my okra separately so in the next clip i'll be doing my okra separately when you're doing your okra separately this is the perfect time at halfway in to start lining up your okra them so your okra will still be warm crunchy enough to meet with it you don't want you to do your okra too early so when you're ready the okra soggy soggy i don't like soggy okras me soon come okay now family we are back time to be making this little okra something so clean okras they are coming from my refrigerator you must wash your okras before you start cutting them and look here Long before COVID, during COVID, and when COVID done, we don't keep dirty thing in our fridge. We always do this, you know? So you're going to nip off your little okra. I'm not going to show you how I'm doing everything. Some people say, no, them not do it. So you nip off your little okra right here, right at a little interval there, and all of that, you know? Don't think these are dirty. That's the nature of some of the okra. If you know about okra and cooking, you should have known to. Now, if you want, you can put your okras them in whole and kind of do it and make them come whole and still crunchy. You know, you can do your okras like this. Put them in and they will cook once you okra them young. So, you just want to cut your okra them like this. Just for presentation and all of that. Be careful though. You know, anywhere you want to cut. If you want to slice them up like you play Dolly House, nothing wrong. You know, so this is what I'll be doing. I may have to do about... I have two dozen here, I might do a dozen and a half. Because a boy, there's a big boy, you know. 
Oh, all the thing for God, they call look here. When we are eating fish, we don't have steamed fish and bag of food and something, we just eat steamed fish. My soon come. Okay, we are back now and we are moving on to doing a little opera thing. A little more butter and all of that. Why we must get luck up today, uh, family, from them butter police. Steamed fish is about butter flavor. Okay? Flame up right there, so. We have a little chini piece of garlic. Flavor him up there, so. We're going to slap up the little piece of um, skeleton. I don't have much green left, but I know nothing. Right in, flame must be up, and all of that, and so forth. So look here. We're going to give a little swirling, and all of that inside. There. So just that we're going to be doing. Hmm? Get it come to an eye. We can prep on the boy over here, so you know. We could take a prep. God, give him a prep on the boy over here, so what else that is happening? Look at me here, no man. You see that steam that will come up? Oh, no, if you don't see that steam, the daddy will shoot them up. Look at me here. More steam fish juice. We say right around here. More steam fish juice. And all of that. This is what is happening. Almost there. Because this boy must come with some juice, you know. Mm -hmm. Right in a whistling. This can go right in here. Nothing no wrong. Not no cross contamination. Lock down back this boy over here. Make sure you're paying attention. Don't with the flame a little and all of that. Get out the little butter, the little garlic, and a little piece of skeleton. And look at me here. It is perfect time for you to put in your okras. Flame up with the okra them and all of that. Right on. Let's get some sort of stir fry going on. And the eye flame until you see that extra green start to come out of the okra them. We're going to be doing that, and when that starts to happen, we are going to come back. Me soon come. So we are at this point. Let's all get our flame down. So what we can do now, we can just put a little water. Or if you have any farm stock. Fish stock, not beef and chicken stock. And all of that. So you see that different shade of green coming out we're putting some onion rings and some purple onion rings would really be a plus right here but me not have any you know and you could also put the onions in your okra if you want to so now that we have that we can get the flame up a bit some colored sweet pepper would be good i don't have colored so me just put a little green on my have it now i'm gonna do nothing much you know but it just all give a little extra flavor so you won't get this up back again and all of that so you're gonna be just stirring around this until your okra, your okras are at how you like your okra. I've added a little salt to taste because there's a lot of butter in there. So we can probably put a little more liquid and all of that, yeah? This is all about the okra. You want the okra coming with some pure liquid and just green and nice. So you go get your flame up and you go and move around your okra in this fashion until it's like how you want it, you know? Really crunchy and nice, not too soggy, not too pop down, pop down, and all of that. I want to try this one, but it is so hot. Let me leave it to cool. Hmm? Yeah, so this is your okra thing I go on. And you notice, so look here, you know, I have no bag of slime. Lord of mercy, some people can't manage that, you know? So, look at me here. Get your little thing and make your little okra. You don't have to cover it, you just move it around. Because you can't see, so guess what? The okra, they might come, and all of that. Guess what I mean? I say, yeah. Now I've turned my flame off and I'll be leaving this fish in here for about seven minutes. Let all the juices come. Let it suck up all of the juices were in there. When you see me next, this thing will be plated just for you. Must soon come. Okay, now family, this fish is out and this is what you have leave here. Just nothing, nothing next to nothing in juices. But before I start to garnish in, I want to show you something that showed them up. You see that the fish has almost been broken in two. So this tells you that the fish has been cooked. It cooked. It has been steamed properly. Because the flesh starts to show you that. Now look at me here. These little juices. Not a lot. Because you know why when the steam fish done, it have a bag of water. But yo, the water is something. They don't know me and it, you know. These are the natural juices. If you want, take up some of your skeleton and something. Nothing wrong, you know. See it? And you see it? You see at the bottom? Yeah, all of this. And niceness. That's what we call steam fish niceness now it is time to put on all of them something here let me put it that you can see it so 
You want to put some. You love only for okra. I don't want my fish steam without no okra. But at the same time, you, you care. You have to ladder over this bread, here, you know, with some only for okra. See? Steam fish and okra to your liking. Right? This is how you want your okra. Look. But don't cover up him head. Then you see a fish. You know, we're going to go finish, you know, decorating this boy. And when we're through, we'll come back to end this video and to present to you original Jamaican steam fish and okra only. My style, my way, Masunko. We're through and I'm back. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate and most of all to your stomach. To your upcoming Father's Day table, it is the original Jamaican steam fish and okra my way please do enjoy now remember if you have liked this video remember to give it a thumbs up remember to make sure that you're subscribed to the jamaican cooking journey and all my other channels thanks for your love and support remember that we have got our little merch going on and i'll add that all the information to our merch for cash app those who would like to make a donation those also would like to make it via paypal they will be in the description of the video and all my other videos thanks for your love thanks for your support be you do you most of all love you one more time dad steam fish and okra my way the, uh, the original jamaican way and all of that